this video, I will show you some dangerous Android settings you need to change right now to boost your privacy and security. I will show you five of these settings, walking you through the simple tweaks so that you can take back control and protect yourself if you suspect any security breach. To get started, swipe down from the top right corner of your screen. An action that reveals the quick settings panel. Tap on the gear icon at the top right corner to open your settings app. Once you're in settings, we'll go through these changes one by one to make your phone safer. First, let's hide sensitive notifications on your lock screen. Scroll down and tap on notifications. Then, find and tap on lock screen notifications. Here, toggle the button on and make sure you select the hide content option. Yours might be labeled hide sensitive content depending on your brand of phone. Once this feature is activated, you'll still see alerts pop up, but the actual details, like bank codes or private messages, stay hidden until you unlock your phone. This quick fix prevents anyone from glancing at your screen and seeing your personal stuff. Next up, let's revoke unnecessary app permissions to stop data harvesting. Back in your settings, Tap on Apps. Now, go through your list of apps and tap on one. Then select Permissions. Review access to things like your contacts, camera, microphone, and location. If an app doesn't need it, like a game asking for your location, just revoke it. For apps that do need location, like Maps, change it to Allow Only while using the app. This stops constant background tracking, saves battery, and keeps your data private. If you're finding this helpful so far, hit that like button and share with a friend. It could save them from privacy risks too. Now, let's disable Extend Unlock or Smart Lock for better security. In Settings, use the search bar at the top and type Smart Lock or Extend Unlock. Tap on it when it appears. Remove any trusted places like your home or trusted devices you've added. Sure, you'll enter your PIN more often, but this ensures your phone locks properly even in familiar spots, so no one else can access it easily. I have not set up mine. That's why it's showing this way. Moving on, let's block your phone's ability to install unknown apps to prevent malware. Head back in settings and search for install unknown apps. You'll see a list of apps like Chrome or your file manager. Go through each one and make sure its button is toggled off. Sticking to the Google Play Store is safest since it scans for threats. Think of this as locking the door on hackers trying to trick you with fake downloads. Finally, let's turn off your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning to end hidden tracking. Back in Settings. Tap on Location. Then, tap on Location Services. Inside, find Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning, and toggle both switches off. Your GPS will still work fine for navigation but you've stopped your phone from constantly scanning networks in the background for better accuracy, which really just means more location data collection. So that wraps up this tutorial on securing your Android phone with these five essential changes. If you have any questions about this process or other settings, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more privacy and tech tips like this one. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe out there.